So, have you completed your bachelor's in biotechnology, bachelor's in microbiology, chemistry, biochemistry, zoology, botany, life sciences and you are looking for good opportunities for pursuing your post-graduation or MSc in biotechnologies from the top reputed universities or institutions in India. Hello everyone, myself Diksha Shanjila from Biotechnica and today I shall be helping you in finding some top 10 government colleges where you can go and pursue your master's in biotechnology in India. So, if you are looking for for good government colleges for where from where you are having world class laboratory facilities placement cell as well as world class and top notch professors and scientists available here i shall be listing you top 10 best government institutions so stay tuned till the end and i hope you'll like this video so the first institution that i'm mentioning here is IIT Bombay. So I have been ranked. I, I ranked IIT Bombay at the first place. IIT Bombay is located in Powai, Mumbai. The entrance exam that is conducted for the MSc Biotechnology intake is IIT Jam. The fee structure for the students who are enrolled, getting enrolled for IIT like Bombay for the MSc Biotechnology program, the fee structure is almost thirty thousand. The number of seats that are available is thirty five, and the NIRF NIRF ranking is third for the overall category so they have a different categories for overall different for university different for institutions different for research different for medical so the overall ranking that has been given to IIT Bombay is third so IIT Bombay is the first institution IIT Bombay have, I have put at the first place they have a really good placement cell they have good alumni network they have top notch professors and scientists uh, and eminent scientists guest lectures are also there like they have a very good like opportunities if you want to go abroad also so IIT Bombay I have put at the first place so the first place where you can go is IIT Bombay the second institution is GNU Jawaharlal Nehru University Delhi so it is located in Delhi and the entrance exam that is being conducted for the students who want to get enrolled for MSc Biotechnology in GNU, it's GATT B Graduate Aptitude Test for Biotechnology that is conducted by Regional Center for Biotechnology everywhere. You will go to GATT B website, you can type GATT B examination RG, RCB and you can go to the website where you can get the details of the GATT B examination. The fee structure is very less, it's almost 700 rupees per semester and the number of seats is 30. So you can go and check about the details also that how they is a get how get B examination is being conducted and GNU for the university rank all the university as I am mentioning here I am putting the university rank and for the institutions I am putting the overall rank okay so for the university rank the NIRF ranking of GNU is 2 the eligibility of all these uh, I am mentioning one more thing the eligibility of all these institutions are almost same they are having if you are having a bachelor's degree in the life science with biology as one of the subject even if you are having chemical or physical sciences also you can have a look of upon the opportunities if you're having BTEC in biotechnology or even MBBS and BDS you are eligible to apply you have to and check for any recent update and change in eligibility from the website that is mentioned but since most of the eligibility is almost same I have not taken a separate pointer for the eligibility because if you are a life science graduate or if you are a physical or chemical sciences graduate also you can go and have that opportunity of getting your MSc biotechnology program in any of the institution all right so we shall be continuing now the next institution we have talked is GNU the third one is Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology. Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology is an autonomous institution under the DBT, Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. It is located in Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. And the entrance exam that is conducted by them is, that is like conducted so that they can intake the MSc students are GATB. The fee structure is bit high. It is 40,000 uh, approx a tuition fee. I'm, I'm mentioning the tuition fee only, okay guys? So the fee structure here is almost 40,000 per semester, that is eight thousand per year but they have a really good laboratory facility if you want to go and gain research experience you want to go and talk with the top scientists who are dealing with the top sciences all over the world you want to get connected with those scientists with the laboratory exposure definitely rgcb is the place to be so the fee structure is 80,000, number of seats are almost 20 and they have they don't have any institutional ranking because the it's a research, is autonomous research institution. So NRIF doesn't have any ranking for it. So, but uh, certain magazines have given and certain like uh, the 
and ranking uh, platforms have given RGCB as the fourth rank in the country for pursuing biotech degree. Now we are coming to the next institution and that is IIT Roorkee. IIT Roorkee is after IIT Bombay, the second IIT that is best for biotechnology is IIT Roorkee. It is located in Roorkee, Uttarakhand. The entrance examination was previously IIT Jam. Now they have converted to GAT B. You can give GAT B examination for pursuing your master's in biotechnology at IIT Roorkee. The fee structure is almost 11,000 per semester and the number of seats are 30 and INIRF ranking for IIT Roorkee is 7th for the overall. So for the institution, I'm giving you an overall ranking. For the university, I'm giving you NIRF university ranking. All right, guys. So for IIT Roorkee, the ranking is 7th overall and you have to clear gate B examination to get into MSc Biotechnology course at IIT Roorkee and believe me, your rank should be high. Your score should be good. Now, coming up to the next is University of Hyderabad. So University of Hyderabad is a central university located, located in Hyderabad, Telangana. It's a very reputed university, especially they are having a lot of MOUs and collaboration with the foreign universities also. Lot of exchange programs are there. So it's a really good place to be if you want to go for MSc Biotechnology and you want to go abroad. So the entrance exam conducted is again GAT B. The fee structure is approx 13,540 rupees. So again, it's very less for two years. The number number of seats that are available is 30 and for NIRF ranking it has been ranked 10th in the university sector uh, of the NRIF ranking. So University of Hyderabad they have also many programs they have integrated PhD programs also they have systems biology program also they have plant and animal biotechnology program also so if you are interested in several other programs they are offering lot of programs so you can go and search for the webs like um, search upon the website and you can check for the eligibility and if you want to go into those programs also you can go they, those programs are also really good except the MSc biotechnology program that I'm mentioning here now now I have covered the first part where I have listed five institutions now I'm going to the sixth institution sixth government institution in India that is best for MSc biotechnology the sixth one is all India Institute of Medical Science that is located in New Delhi so AIMS New Delhi offer M biotechnology program that is really good for the students who want to pursue research or who want to have a medical scientific exposure the MOU of medical as well as scientific exposure it's very good for them. The entrance exam that is conducted is, is AIMS. They AIMS conduct their own entrance examination. The fee structure is very low, very low. It's almost 1300 rupees. And the number of seats is here 18. So the number of seats are less. It's really less. But if you work hard, if you prepare for the entrance examination hard, they will select you because ultimately your score is what that matters. Your hard work is what that matters. So don't worry about the seats just prepare well and the give give examination with this proper strategy we want to make if you want me to make any video upon how to crack aims ms biotechnology examination what are the tips and tricks i can surely make a video upon that so do let me know guys and the nirf ranking for aims is ninth for the overall okay so aims has got overall ranking of ninth in the nirf list okay now we are coming to the seventh institution. The seventh institution is Banaras Hindu University. So Banaras Hindu University is a central university located in Varanasi, UP, Uttar Pradesh, India. The entrance exam conducted is again GAT B graduate aptitude test in biotechnology. The fee structure is almost uh, three thousand. It's again very less. The number of seats are thirty. Every year they will take thirty students. And for the NRIF ranking, the university ranking of Banaras Hindu University is sixth for the NRAF ranking released by the Ministry of Education. Okay, so now we are going to the next one. The eighth one is Jamia Milia Islamia. So Jamia is very famous for their courses and for their like reputation in the UP, UPSC examination also so we know about uh, Jamia Milia Islamia so especially if you are go going for MSc biotechnology degree and you want to go for uh, like writing IFS examination Indian Forest Service examination or UPSC civil services surely you should go to Jamia Milia Islamia they will have they have actually a very good uh, like coaching uh, also for like the students who are studying in Jamia and they have a re really good environment for the students who 
who want to go for UPSC. So if you want to go for Indian Forest Service examination and you are doing MSc Biotechnology, you can always like you can prefer Jamia. So there is always a sort of preference for any, every university that you choose and you want to study in New Delhi. So it's located in New Delhi. The entrance examination that is conducted is Jamia entrance test. They have their own entrance examination. The fee structure is again it's less it's 7800 approximately for every year and the number of seats that are available is 30 the NIRF ranking is third for the university category coming up to the ninth one is Savitri by Phule Pune University also known as the Pune University it's a state university located in Pune Maharashtra and it is the entrance exam conducted is GAT B especially this university is good for the uh, like uh, both for the students who are like outside from Maharashtra and also for the students who are the domicile of Maharashtra because they have fee waiver and they have certain like um, reservation of seats also for the students of Maharashtra since it's in state university so here you will both of the students will be equally benefit benefited so if you are like if you want to go for Savitri Bhai Phule University the fee structure is for this is for the non like Maharashtrian students who are not from Maharashtra they don't have any domicile from Maharashtra the fee structure is 25,600 the number of seats that are available is 30 and the NIRF ranking is 12 so this is the semester fee okay guys NIRF ranking is 12th in the university category. SPPU also has a very good exposure since it is like it has NCCS Pune also located in its premises. So you will be having a great exposure of research. Also, you can go internships, you can go for internships also at NCCS Pune. So it's a really good place to be. Now the 10th one. The 10th one and what I'm listing, maybe most of the students might know about uh, like uh, that and most will not also know. So it's South Asian University. It's an international university located in India, which is having the accreditation of South, like uh, SARC countries, South Asian countries. It is located in New Delhi and since it's a new university, many students doesn't know about it. So the entrance examination being conducted by them is SAO entrance test. I have mentioned South Indian Asian University from MSc Biotechnology because they have a very good professor, like uh, they, the professors are really top notch. They have a very good course curriculum and they have international facilities because more the, like other students are coming from India also as well as other parts of the South Asia also. So this is a very good uh, university if you are a accredited if you are a student of SAC accredited country you can always make think about coming to South Asian University it's a better option rather than going to any state or private university if you want to go for government university you can always come to South Asian universities so the fee uh, structure is 68,690 it's a bit high because since it is taking students from the like four five countries listed in the Asian like SAC members and then also the thing is that it's a newly established university so they are having a lot of exposure and lot of settlements also but it is worth it now the number of seats are 30 again and the ranking since they don't have any NIRF ranking I have put the country rank it's 208 all right guys so guys here I mentioned about the top 10 institution top 10 universities that are best for you to pursue your msc biotechnology msc biotechnology from any government college these 10 are the government colleges universities as well as institutions so if you have any doubt anything please mention in the comment box below and please do mention i will be really grateful to help you thank you so much for watching this video